Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, some exciting news. The Lenovo Legion Go has launched in South Africa. Got myself a unit at launch. So obviously this launched a couple of months ago in other territories. Um, Europe, America, first world countries, but first. Um, so they finally released it locally in our region, Africa. Um, picked up a unit. Um, just busy with the unboxing here. Excited to give this um, hardware a try on a couple of um, games, benchmarks, see what the the unit can do. So obviously it's the 8.8 inch um, IPS um, display, AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme processor. Um, locally they've only released the 512 gig um, SSD hard drive um, storage version. Um, yeah, so I'm also picking up a SD card just to have more um, space to install those games. Don't think I'm gonna open up the unit myself, don't want to avoid any um, warranties or anything. Okay, and then obviously it comes with Windows 11 Home as the operating system. So we'll give this uh, startup. Put it through its paces. So obviously up until now the channel has been focused on the first device I um, had, which was the Asus ROG Ally Z1 Extreme. So that's still going to be continuing um, on the channel, still going to be providing content. Um, so. It'll be quite interesting because we'll be putting out content that shows gameplay and performance on the ROG Ally Z1 Extreme and also how it stacks up against the Legion Go. So obviously it's also got 16 gigs of onboard memory. The thing that I really like, obviously other reviewers probably mentioned the exact same thing, whereas the Asus ROG Ally does not come with a carrying case. You guys can see from the video, the Legion Go does come with a very robust and quite chunky looking um, protective case for when you are traveling with the unit. So here we've got the power adapter, USB-C, um, it's a two-pronged um, plug for our South African um, plug points, which is appreciated. It's a 65 watt USB-C slim um, wall, ch wall charger. Yeah, and that's about it in the box. You get the Legion Go, you get the travel case, and you get the power adapter. To date, I still haven't got a um, carrying travel case for the ROG Ally. Um, Definitely something on my wish list. I see Amazon is currently running a spring sale. So I guess that's just a cloth. Could wipe off fingerprints from your Legion Go. Carrying case, really well thought out. It's got a tag that you can pull on and dejects the the unit from the travel case so no trying to fumble and press on screens and do any awkward um, ejecting of that legion go from the travel case 
really well put together unit. Let's see the bolt quality. And then obviously the hockey puck that comes with it for first person shooter mode. So we'll try those on a couple of games. Um, some Call of Duty, Battlefield, etc. Yeah, so on screen currently that's what you get in in your in your box as part of your purchase. It's trying to power on the device. For the first time um power on you need to connect the power. Um just plug it into the wall. Pretty much standard on all these power um, plugs. Manufacturers are including those Velcro straps. It's just a lot more convenient for um, tidy cable management. So the unit went on sale through Lenovo um, and we've got a couple of Lenovo, let's say, um, authorized resellers here in South Africa. Um, the reseller that I got it at was the online um, retailer Take-A-Lot, um, so they're the number one um, onla online retailer here in South Africa. But I saw it was also um, available at a num number of other details here. Yeah? Um, brick and mortar stores like um, Incredible Connection is one of them. We've got a computer equipment um, retailer called Evetech. They also um, stock the device. Got another brick and mortar store called Compu Computer Mania. They also um, distributing the Legion Go in South Africa. Can see um, power plug had a paper protective um, casing on, and they putting on warning signs, stressing it's important remove the paper protective casing before you plug it in for um, its first charge because yeah the power brick doing sixty five watts it does get quite hot to the touch. Um, so obviously you don't want anything that's flammable adapted around it like um, cardboard paper casing. I didn't have a very specific mic um, hooked up for this unboxing, so I don't think I'm going to use the ASMR ta um, tag on my unboxing but yeah you can hear it's the unboxing video has got its own ambient um, sound if i can call it that Yeah, so now we're pretty much going into the first power on of the device. RGB lights flashing on the analog sticks there.
Okay, now so it's pretty going, pretty much going into a um, Windows 11 first setup. Obviously, the device has been installed. So, like any device you buy pre-configured with um, Windows 11 installed, it's basically asking the stock standard what region are you in, time zone, it all configure, and it obviously goes and fetches all the latest updates. So when you initially boot into Windows, there's not too much. Um, too much of an overwhelming Windows update um, barrage, if I can call it that. So the first setup wasn't really bad. Um, if I were to review the experience, it was, in my finding, it felt it felt quicker than the ROG Ally setup. I don't know if setting up one handheld in um, December when I got the ROG Ally maybe prepared me and I've become an expert in setting up handhelds, but it just felt a lot more streamlined, a lot quicker setting up um, the Legion Go. So obviously as you configure the um, specific time zone and region you're in, it restarts a couple of times the Windows 11 config installation. Yeah, and that's the first boot into the Windows desktop. As you know, they keep us dangling, keep us keeping us waiting. Promising us just a, just a few more minutes, wrapping things up. Yeah, so even though a lot of Windows updates were um, taken care of in the initial um, setup process before you boot into the operating system, you could see on screen there now there was quite, quite a few um, Windows 11 updates, but it was Probably a couple of megabytes, very quick, on a 50 meg um, fiber connection here at home. So obviously your mileage may vary um, depending on your home internet um, connection, speed, etc. Yeah, and then this just gives you an update of the Legion um, space. Um, functionality that's obviously the AMD Genlin software just double checking if I'm on the latest um, graphics driver so the funny thing was the first time booting into the Legion Go when you're pressing the right button to bring up um, the quick um, setup um, that's showing you your TDP and obviously if you're in silent or I think it's called quiet on Legion Go and if you're in performance mode, etc, etc, and your screen brightness and showing you your battery, that all was in Chinese. But as soon as you update the Legion Space um, software, when it reboots the next time you use the software, you'll see it's English and it's no longer Mandarin yeah, text. Yeah, so that's pretty much the um, setup for the device. Um, I'll be doing quite a lot of um, gameplays on it in the coming weeks. Um, yeah, do like and subscribe um, so you get all those um, videos when we release it to the channel. Appreciate the support the channel has been getting, guys. Till next time, cheers.